Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with my beauty favorites. I wouldn't say it's September favorites. I would just say it's beauty favorites in general because I haven't done a favorites in a while. So I want to show you guys some of the things that I have been really liking. So let's get started. Start off, I want to show you guys a few palettes that I've been liking. And this first palette I haven't picked up in quite some time. So when I started using it again, I was like, hello, why haven't I used you? So this is the Glow Kit by Anastasia, and this is in that glow. So my favorite shades from here are um, Sunburst, Dripping in Gold, and Bubbly, which are these shades right here. And I do like to just mix them up and put them on my face and glow, you know? That's my favorite way of doing it. Let me show you guys. I'm just gonna like take it all. And this is the glow that it gives you. Oh, I love it. Spray some Fix Plus and you are good to go. It's beautiful. Next up, so next up is the Kylie Bronze palette. And I do love this palette for a very neutral look. I love that the shimmer shades aren't so shimmery and they're just really nice. I really enjoy this palette. The formula of the shadows is really nice as well. They do blend very nice. Let me show you guys a few swatches. And I have used this in a tutorial and I also did like a little review on it. So these are a few of the shades right here. I don't know if you can see them from there. But that's what a few of the shades look like. As you can see, they're pretty pigmented. And I really love how they blend out and all of that jazz. The next palette is the Carly Bible palette. I know that in the video that I filmed previously, I said that I didn't like the eyeshadows. And I still don't like the eyeshadows. But the highlights on this palette are so beautiful and intense. Let me show you guys. I'm just gonna like swatch all of them. So this is all of them on my fingers, but let me put them on my hands. Look at that. What? And I believe the palette is around $14. So for $14, for just for these highlights, it's totally worth it. I love it. And you can always like take the highlights out of that palette and just put them in a Z palette. But I'm just gonna leave them there because I like them there. Oh my god. So I am wearing the Kylie Mary Jo K and it keeps like, ugh. I don't like the formula of this one. But we're just gonna keep it on. Let it dry. Okay, so the next palette, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I know I have talked about this a lot. And I've been using it a lot. Well, basically, this is all I use. So, my favorite, favorite shade right now is this middle shade right here. I love how it gives me that shadow under my cheekbone. And it just looks snatched. And I love it. This is all I've been using lately. I just take some of that on my Narzita brush. And highlight, contour my cheeks. I also really love the banana shade here. I do have it under my eyes today and I love how it brightens up my eyes and I do also put a little bit like right here in my forehead area just to highlight it a little bit and I love it under my eyes, the powder. It's so buttery soft. It doesn't make my under eyes crease which is what I love about it. And recently they did come out with the refillable pants so that's exciting. I actually didn't want to use the banana shade before in there because I didn't want to waste it and then I would have to buy a whole new palette for it. But now, now I could use it. So this next palette is from Morphe Brushes and this is the blush palette. I love this palette. As you can see, it has been loved. And I really love this shade right here. This is the shade I'm wearing today and I love it for any kind of makeup look. This is what it looks like. I just love how it looks good with everything. Gorgeous shade. The palette is so worth it. I don't even remember how much it was, but it's very affordable. So this next product, I did get in my goodie bag from Generation Beauty, and I love it as a highlight. So this is supposed to be a blush, but I really like to use this as a highlight, and it is cream. So if you don't like creams, then you might not like this, but it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see it here. It's just, I'm pretty far from the camera, so I can't really see what it's picking up. But this is the shade right here, and it's so pretty. I do use it um, as a base for my highlight, and even as a base, it looks beautiful. And this is a blush, by the way, and it is in the shade Whisper by Jouer Cosmetics. So what I do love about Jouer is that they did also give us two eyeshadows, and when you went to their booth, they gave you um, two, well, two because I had two tickets, two highlighters and two... Um, 
blushes so i love that you could just stack them up nicely in here and they just connect like a little puzzle well that's what it looks like so you open them up and they're all right here so cute um let me just show you guys really quick the shades that i got okay so they also gave me this highlight and this is in the shade crystal which i'm not crazy about because it does have like a blue um a blue what's it called a blue sheen and i i'm not crazy about those kind of highlighters uh this is another blush and this is in the shade poppy which is really cute as well this one is an eyeshadow in the shade espresso and this is another eyeshadow in the shade truffle and this is the highlighter well the blush i was telling you guys about and it is in whisper so this is what they look like they're so cute i love that they just click together and put them away nice and you know you won't lose them okay so for foundations i have really been loving stick foundations um, my favorite 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 one is the Anastasia foundation and I do have it in the shade tan I love this for like like a very natural look it looks so beautiful I love how it stays on my skin and it just it looks very natural it really does that's what I like about this one and this one is from Ju Jouer wow. this one is from Hourglass and I do have it in the shade golden tan I did pick this one up from Generation Beauty as well, and I really like how full coverage this foundation is, although I'm not sure if it was the foundation or the hourglass primer that gave me a really bad flashback in the video that I filmed, which I refilmed it because it looked really, really bad. So I'm not sure if it was the lighting, the primer, or this foundation, because I have worn this foundation before, and I actually wore it to um, a wedding that I previously went to, and it didn't look like that at all. I've seen pictures and I took flash pictures and it didn't look like that so I'm thinking it was a primer I'm not sure though so this highlighter I have been using it a lot and I haven't showed it love in so long and this is so Hollywood by Anastasia this is like this is bae <laughs> that's what it is this highlighter is so beautiful intense and just gold look at this this is what I have on my cheeks today I did use um, the Maybelline, I think it's like the strobing thing, it's this one, the strobing stick in the shade medium nude glow. I used it as my base and then I applied the Anastasia highlighter and I really like how it looks. It just looks glowy and I love to be glowy. This next bronzer, I've also been giving it a lot more love lately and this is Give Me Sun by MAC Cosmetics. I love this bronzer. I haven't picked it up lately because during the summertime, it doesn't really show up on my skin. But now during the cold weather, since my tan starts going away, I'm not saying like I'm super light. But once my tan starts fading out, it looks a lot better. And I'm excited to use my Chanel bronzer again because I haven't been able to use that all summer. Moving on to primers. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. And this has coconut water in it which really helps my skin stay so hydrated. <sighs> this is what I have on today, and I find that it makes my makeup last so nice, and I don't get any dry patches on my skin. So this has been helping me a lot, because my face has been a little bit dry lately. I think it's because I've really been piling on some makeup lately, so I think that's why. But this has really helped me a lot, and I love how it smells. It smells like coconut, and I love it. And this next primer is the Makeup Forever Step 1. Okay, so my nose, I don't feel like I have too many pores on my nose. However, it just helps smoothen everything out. And also on my lines, my smile lines, I do like to apply this one just like right here. Just right there. <laughs> and then the Hangover RX, I do apply it all over my face. And I love that combo. It has been working really nice for me. Okay. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is this Maybelline Master Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Deep Fonts. Or is that just like another way to say deep? I don't know, but this is really good. I love this shade. It's like a grayish tone. It's a cream contouring stick, and I love how this looks on me. I did put it on today, and then I topped it off with the Kat Von D to set it. I really, really love this. It's just an extra little step, but it blends out really nice as well. I haven't used the yellow shade on it. Maybe I'll use it next time, but I have not tried that one. I just used the contours, the contour side. 
So for lashes, I have been obsessed with the Huda Beauty Scarlet Lashes. They are not in here because I do have them on today, but I'm just showing you guys a little case. <laughs> so this is what they look like. I have them on my eyes. I will be posting pictures on Instagram of this eye look because this is the eye look that I wore to the wedding that I went to. So I think that video should be up before this. So you guys would have already seen this. So yeah, I just finished refilming that and I had to film my favorites. So I just changed my shirt. Well, I had a dress on, so. I put the shirt on. <laughs> so at Generation Beauty with the little ticket they gave you, uh, Benefit gave you one of this little gimme brows. And I do have it in this shade, huh. It looks brown, so I would say some kind of brown shade. But I really like this for my eyebrows. They help them stay put. I did put it on today, that's why I'm showing you guys. And I also use it with my one and only Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. I do have this in the shade Brunette and I am in love with this little combo right here. If you guys haven't tried this brow stylus and you love the Anastasia um, regular brow pencil, try this out. It's like $11 and it works so well. You, you're going to love it. Just try it out. So I think I got this from a Perks at Sephora if I'm not mistaken. This is the Makeup Forever Sense Eyes Makeup Remover and I love this to clean out my wing. So what I do is I take the pointed Q-tips and I dip a little bit, like I put some on the cap and then I dip with the Q-tip and I clean out my wing just to make it nice and sharp. And this works so well, like you don't even have to go over it twice, just once is good enough and it takes off your makeup so nicely, it's, it's amazing. Also, this Marc Jacobs eyeliner, I believe I mentioned this before, but I really, really love how intense black and how long it lasts. I, I'm in love with this eyeliner. Another thing I didn't think I would be talking about are brow scissors. So these are from Sigma and they did come in a little kit like with eyebrow stuff. And this is what they look like, just regular little scissors. I love these scissors. They just help me get right in there and trim these babies. I do have like another pair of scissors, but they just, they're not, sh I don't know if they're not sharp enough or they just, they don't work as well. But these, I have been loving these. So with my foundation, I have been mixing the Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil. And I really like how this keeps my face hydrated. As I stated before, my face has been feeling a little dry and I do have some dry patches like around here. So this plus the foundation and my Hangover RX have really been helping me with that. And as you can see, you can't even, can't even see those dry patches. I did order this from the Tatcha website. I believe it's $30 for this little one. The bigger one on Sephora, it's like, I think it's like $90. I wasn't ready to come into that one because I needed to try it out. So yeah, I really, really love these drops. Plus the packaging is so cute. I feel like sometimes packaging kind of wins you over, but this one, this one's really good. And this, ta bleh. and the, the Tatcha spray also, I am in love with. I really like it. I only use it on special occasions though, so yeah. So a few lippies that I have been loving. This is a little combo that I have been mixing. And I do take just like any kind of nude lip liner just to line my lips and fill them in a little bit. And then I go in with the Anastasia Gloss in Tara. By the way, I'm not much of a gloss girl, but these glosses are so pretty. And so pigmented. And I do top it off with the Marc Jacobs Gloss in Taboo. So I'm just going to show you guys them separately. So the darker one is Tara and this one is Taboo by Marc Jacobs. I really love the formula. They just feel really nice on your lips. And I don't know, I'm really into glosses right now. <laughs> so what I love about this Marc Jacobs one is that it smells fresh and minty like, like, like you just had gum and you just brush your teeth. And I really like that. Oh, I love when they smell minty and they feel minty and tingly on your lips. That's my favorite. The next lip product that I have been loving is this Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Spice Girl. It's a very nice, like, grayish mauve shade. I really, really, really love it. What I do really like about the Huda Beauty um, Liquid Lipsticks are that they don't dry completely, completely, not matte, but they don't fully dry on your lips. So they kind of keep some a little hydrated and you don't feel like they're crusting up or anything. So that's one thing I actually do like about it. At first I didn't really like it, but after wearing it for a while, I really, really grew to like it. So this next product that I have also been loving to hydrate my face is the Sephora Instant Moisture Cream. 
So this was recommended to me by one of the ladies at Sephora and I believe it was less than $30 so I was just like okay let's try it and I actually really really like it and I do also like to apply it before I apply my makeup so I feel like this really helps me also hydrate this face that I have been talking to you guys about. So yeah, that one, and it smells really, really good. I don't know, I just really like that scent. So I did want to show you guys these two products, and this is Skinny Dip by Jouer Cosmetics. Oh my god. When I saw this, I was like, yes, please give it to me. I'm just trying to give you guys a big swatch so you can really see it. So this is what Skinny Dip looks like. It's supposed to be a lip topper, and wow, look at that. This is so pretty. This next palette I wanted to share with you guys, I haven't used it on my eyes, but just by swatching it, wow. This is from Wet n Wild, and I believe I paid around $6 for this, if not less. And it is the Comfort Zone palette, so let me just show you guys the colors. And then the swatches, because you guys can go into that. So these are the colors in here, and let me just, let me just swatch these for you. Let's swatch this one, this one, this one. Um, 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 this one, this one. Okay. Oh, I hate when I do this. I always swatch so like crooked that I have to move my whole body. So anyway, these are the swatches for this palette. How gorgeous are they? They're so intense, and this was just one swatch. Gorgeous. I can't wait to use this palette and just explore these shades. I really love it. I feel like this one reminds me of um, the shade that's in the Manny palette. Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? I think it's more red, but it kind of looks like it. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I think that's the shade that I'm comparing it to. Alright guys, so those were all the beauty products I had to share with you. I hope you guys grabbed a snack, by the way, because I feel like that was a long-ass video. I did also want to share with you guys the Master Palette by Mario. But I want to do a look on this one and some swatches, so stay tuned for that. It might be up after this. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next one. By the way, leave me some beauty products down below. Let me know what you guys have been loving and what I should check out because, let's be real, I don't have enough makeup.